Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter by telling you about these websites you shouldn't use to book anything. Take this as sort of a travel warning. Normally I review tech and travel products and services, but today is more of a rant. And you'll probably come across some of these sites for however long they're able to stay in business because they will display very low airfare, great hotel deals, but don't be fooled, you should avoid all of these booking sites. There are a lot of reasons not to use any of these sites, but terrible customer service, unfulfilled bookings, and just general hassle are some of the main offenses. Let's start with the first offender, eDreams, which keeps its prices low by basically not having a customer service department and by sneaking in fees right after you book. eDreams is a booking site where you can find hotel, flight, car, and vacation rentals. It's a very buggy site, so much so that throughout working on this video, Parts of the eDream site was down or under maintenance, like a ridiculous amount. When the site is working though, it works a lot like any other flight aggregator. You search for your flight, whether it's a one-way or a round trip, combine it with a hotel if you like, and then are shown some impressive fares. Now at this point, if eDreams were like any other normal booking site, you'd get your fare, you'd get your taxes, you'd get some fees, you'd see your final price, you'd click book, and then all you'd have to do is get ready for your next trip. But I'm sure you can guess, in a lot of cases, it doesn't work like that. First, eDreams shows you the absolute lowest price you'll definitely not be paying when searching. A lot of aggregators do this, but eDreams is a particularly bad offender where your final fare can be 30 to 50% more than what you're initially shown. Those of you who've seen my video on Airbnb cleaning fees know they do this because of an effect called reference pricing, where the first price that you're shown tends to be what sticks in your mind no matter what the costs added on later are in the booking process. And as if that weren't bad enough, the fares that eDreams shows you are all those with their Prime membership discounts included. So for example, you can see the fare shown here for this New York to London flight is $535 round trip. Notice the grayed out fine print though, and you see the fare is actually $608. But eDreams automatically includes a free 30-day trial of their Prime membership when you book, which isn't very clear, because a Prime membership is $59 a year. So many people are unwittingly charged a month later for a service they didn't explicitly sign up for. You have to click through to show other fares to see the true price. And if anything goes wrong, if you have any complaints or you need to change a booking or you need to do basically anything after you've given eDreams your money, you don't have to go very far on TripAdvisor or Reddit to find countless horror stories. Botched flights, no refunds for canceled flights, hidden fees, those are just some of the reasons why you should avoid using eDreams. And look, I don't like to be this negative in a video, but unless you really want to spend hours on the phone arguing with the company's customer service department or sending emails back and forth that seem to go nowhere, probably better off just to not use these companies. It's a little bit amazing that they've been able to stay in business for so long and I'd like to offer suggestions on how they could improve, but it seems like this way of doing business, this kind of bad way of doing business has become their standard and has become just how they operate. So it's really hard to fix those kind of deep rooted problems. So the best way, the best thing that you can do is to just avoid using companies like this at all. And maybe if their business goes down, maybe they'll try to start to improve or maybe they'll just vanish but either way, it's better for you, the consumer. Oh, and as if you didn't need any more reasons to avoid eDreams, let me share with you this story, which is what inspired this video. Not too long ago, I had booked round trip flights from Istanbul to Baghdad. Getting to Baghdad was not a problem, but on the way back, I'm told at the airport, there's no flight record for me. Literally, I'm standing at the checkout desk and they tell me, you are not on this flight. It turns out that eDreams had canceled the booking for whatever reason and didn't notify me. So there I am at the check-in counter. I'm told I can go outside of the security area to get cash from an ATM, come back through security to book the flight there right on the spot since many foreign credit cards aren't accepted at Baghdad's airport. It was definitely a massive pain in the butt. I was very fortunate to be able to find space on that flight and that the third ATM that I tried, the first two didn't work. The third ATM that I tried was able to give me cash. I was able to go back through security through Baghdad's airport, which has very strict security, go back to the check-in counter and then book myself on that flight right in time before it was to take off. 
Now, I complained to eDreams I wanted to get a refund since I'm now paying twice for this same flight, and they didn't really get back to me on any of my customer service complaints at all. I ended up having to dispute the charges with my credit card, which fortunately I was able to recover. So yeah, don't use eDreams. It's not worth the hassle, and you're probably not even getting the lowest fare anyway. Now coming over to two unhonorable mentions, two travel booking sites that you should just generally avoid. Now the next one also has terrible customer service, hidden fees, and a bait and switch right at booking. And this site that you should totally avoid is called SmartFares. The trick SmartFares likes to do is show you the low price for a fare, and then when you book, they will send you a confirmation code. But that's not the confirmation by the airlines, that's their own internal confirmation code. So a few hours later or up to a day may pass, then they'll say your flight wasn't booked because the airline raised their price. They'll then, in theory, send you an email asking if you want to book at the new, higher rate. And if you try to cancel, they'll charge you a fee to do so. There are so many issues with SmartFares that they've included an entire section in their terms about chargebacks and credit card disputes, basically saying you agree not to dispute any of their fees with your credit card, and if you try to, they'll charge you a $250 chargeback fee if you attempt to dispute at all. You know things are bad when there is an entire section in a company's terms and services that basically tell you all the ways that they will not give you a refund if they screw something up. So if you can, definitely avoid using SmartFares. Now, the last company is almost not worth mentioning because they are just so, so bad. And that one is GoToGate. On Trustpilot alone, they have one star after one star after one star review with the occasional what sounds like a very, very fake five star review and then just a bunch of more one star reviews. GoToGate is so bad in my testing, I wasn't able to book a single flight. All were dropped, requests for refunds were ignored, and there are fees for handling refunds as well. Oh, and believe me when I say GoToGate will fight you tooth and nail to not give you a refund. They will literally do anything they can, avoid you, write nasty messages. They will go out of their way to not give you a refund, even if you deserve a refund, which if you're using GoToGate, you probably are because they most likely have screwed something up or tricked you or added hidden fees or done something to generally make you have a terrible experience and pay more than you were ever expecting. They're just generally really nasty to work with. So if you can, at all costs, avoid using GoToGate. Look, all services and booking sites screw up. They make mistakes, they're incompetent, whether they're aggregators or they're the airlines themselves. Some percentage of customers' interactions with those sites will be negative or won't go as planned. And with a large enough customer base, a small percentage can equal a lot of people. Sites like SmartFares and eDreams and GoToGate have a very high percentage of people that just leave unsatisfied. So the way those companies stay in business is they make it very, very, very difficult for you to get a refund and they charge you hidden fees. And there are just enough people that have a good experience or a decent experience that sites like Kayak will still continue to use them. So you may be searching around on Kayak and see a listing of fares, but just know when you click through, if you see any of those three sites, GoToGate, eDreams, or SmartFares as the booking engine that they're using, avoid it at all costs. You have been warned because it will not be a good experience most likely. There are plenty of other reputable sites you can try, and you can even cross-reference those fares with the airline's actual website, and you might even get a better deal. Keep that in mind next time you're looking for a flight or a hotel deal. If you see a fare that looks too good to be true, it usually is. And if you click through to that fare and you see one of the three sites mentioned in this video, it's probably a good idea to just avoid them altogether because it's not going to be worth the hassle. Hopefully this video helps save you from some of the trouble that I and a lot of other travelers have gone through. And if you've used any of these sites, let me know what your experience has been down in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching this video. Hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.